Here are the nine RAG patterns you need to know if you're serious about building AI systems. Let's start with our deterministic designs. Number one is naive RAG. This really is the baseline of RAG architectures. And while it can work for simple FAQ style scenarios, you'll usually need more than this when you're in a production setting. Number two is query transformation with RAG fusion. Here we are decomposing and then expanding on a user's query to fetch a wide range of chunks. Number three is iterative retrieval. Unlike the previous design, here we have multiple passes for complex questions. Next up is adaptive retrieval. Here we can decide whether we need to retrieve at all, and if we do, is it simple or is a multi-stage retrieval required? And now onto our agentic designs. Which brings us to number five, agentic rag. Here we are providing the LLM with decision-making powers. It can decide what to retrieve and how many times to carry out retrieval before answering the question. And a variant of this is hybrid RAG, where the agent can pull from knowledge graphs, SQL databases, as well as vector stores. And then we get to the realm of multi-agents, where we have a main agent and sub-agents. And here we can distribute the cognitive load, as well as protect the context window of the main agent, so it can answer the user's question. Instead of having AI agents sitting under a supervisor agent, you can have sequential agents. This allows you to have multiple specialist AI agents in sequence. And finally, we get to agentic routing. Here we can intelligently route the query to the best agent for the job. There's no one size fits all with RAG, so you'll need to choose the best pattern for your use case.